Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie a 3-pass type 1 pineapple knot. I have in the past covered many various pineapple knot types, but I have skipped this important knot. So today I'm going to remedy this situation and we're going to tie a 3-color type 1 pineapple knot out of a 5-part 4-byte Turk's hat. As far as the supplies for tying this knot go, you're going to need 3 cords and I remove the inner strands out of these cords to make the knot lay flatter. You're also going to need a mandrel, I use a PVC pipe for this purpose and finally you're going to need a lacing needle to make your knot tying a bit easier. With these supplies ready, let's begin. We're going to start with our first cord and wrap around our mandrel, coming over the standing end then wrap around again and again come over. With our working end we're going to go under and then over towards the left side. We're then going to wrap around again and follow our standing end going under over towards the right. We're then going to go over under over towards the left. Then come around. And we're going to split the two parallel cords. So we're going to split these two cords. We start with an over, then under, and then over. Then from right to left, we're going to go under, over, under, over. With this we have tied a 5 part 4 byte Turk's head and we completed by placing our working end on top of or next to the standing end. We're now going to do an interweave with our second color. I have placed my second cord onto the right side of my standing end and I'm going to start by going under two, then over one and under one. I'm then going to turn back into the knot and start my next sequence with an under again. So under one, over one and under one. We start our next sequence the exact same way. So under, over and under. The next sequence is going to be an under 2, which splits a pair, then over 1 and under 1. And the next sequence is again an under 2, which splits a pair, then over 1 and under 1. We continue by going under 2, which splits a pair, then over 2 and under 1. And we repeat the same sequence again, going under 2, which splits a pair, then over 2 and under 1. We're now going to go under 2 to split a pair, then over 2 and under 1. With this we have tied our knot and the last thing we need to do is to take our working end and we're going to place it on top of the standing end, 
going under 2 and this completes our second chord. We're now going to move on to our third chord which I have placed in between my first two chords and we're going to start with an under 4 then go over 2 and under 1. We're going to travel in between our first two chords and start our next sequence with an under 1 then go over 2 and under 2. Start your next sequence with an under 2 then go over 2 and under 1. Again, travel in between your first two chords and start your next sequence with an under 2 then go over 2 and under 2. And we start our next sequence with an under 3 then go over 2 and under 1. And again, we travel in between our first and second chord, starting our next sequence with an under 2, then go over 3 and under 2. Our next sequence is going to be an under 3. then over 3 and under 1. And we're now at our last sequence, so travel in between your first and second chord and start your next sequence with an under 2, then go over 3 and finally under 2. All we need to do now is finish our end so place it on top of your third chord going under 3. With this we have tied a simple 3 pass type 1 pineapple knot. So guys, I hope that this tutorial came in handy. It is a beautiful and simple to tie knot. With that said, thank you for joining me and see you next time.